Shohei Otani leads the Angels onto the field on a picture perfect afternoon here in Southern California. Blue skies, sun's out. The Angels in those Beach Vibe City Connect uniforms looking sharp on a Wednesday afternoon against the Reds. Here's the 2 1 on Friedel. Swings at it, chops the ball right to second. Should be an easy play for Renhifo, and he will throw him out. So that's the game's first out. Swing and a miss. McLean goes after a ball in the dirt. Shohei has his first strikeout today. Here's the next pitch, and that's a chase and a miss, and a splitter polishes up De La Cruz. An impressive first inning for Otani. The Reds turn to Andrew Abbott, having a dynamite rookie year. Uh, he has been a calm and cool customer all year long while piling up eight wins against three losses. Last couple of times out, he's just been outstanding. Has not walked the batter, struck out 14 over his last two starts. But you've got to figure on the inside that he is just so excited to be out there facing off of Shohei Otani. Now the 3 2 pitch. On outside, ball four. Acer and Hifo works a leadoff walk, and you don't want to walk guys ahead of this one. Shohei Otani making his way to the plate. It's always a plus for Shohei to have some traffic in front of him. There's a rocket. Right field, way back. Long gone, number 44. Shohei Otani, spectacular as he reclaims Major League Baseball's home run lead. Sometimes the best way to describe Shohei is in one word this wow. Shohei Otani, 115.7 miles per hour exit velocity on a home run. Remember, he punched out two in the top of the first, and then he hits a home run like that, that quickly out of the ballpark. Number 44, 91 RBIs on the season. He is absolutely unbelievable. And Ipe, there you go, Ipe. Shohei doesn't like wearing the kabuto on the days that he pitches. So Ipe gets a turn strolling through the dugout. Did he break it? One thing noticed early, the velocity for Shohei is down. 94 is where he has topped out here today so far. And all eyes on Shohei with missing the last couple of weeks with some arm fatigue. This hasn't been high velocity on that. He's usually going to be around 83 to 85 on a sweeper. Today so far you're seeing mid to upper 70s. Curveball 68 to 71. Trying to get the fastball by Carnacion Strand, who fought it off. Two balls and two strikes. And I think Ipe and Bill Nevin are coming out. Shohei looked in there right away, and they saw and sensed something. We're seeing velocity being down. You just mentioned the velocity appeared to be down. And that's going to end the day for Shohei. Yeah, he is going to leave. You can hear the crowd murmur, and Shohei will come out of the game. We've seen this way too many times this year. The Angels are calling it arm fatigue, not only removing him from the game as a pitcher, but as a hitter as well. Eagles have a runner in scoring position to start off the inning, and Renhifo, the next batter. It's a drive to left center field by Renhifo, moving after it and unable to reach it is Benson as that ball goes to the wall. Benson then throws a lawn dart toward the relay man. That allows Velasquez to come all the way around. He scores. It's back-to-back -back doubles. Luis Renifo drives in a run, and it's three-nothing Angel. Oh, this is a day game that just takes sense, and he thought he had it. Next thing you know, that another foot and a half over his head gets off the wall, and I don't know what happened on this throw from Benson. He fired it straight into the ground. De La Cruz had to run to the outfield to retrieve this ball. And here we go to the fourth inning. It's the two local kids, McLean and Steer. That have helped put the runners on the corners for Cincinnati with Joey Votto coming up. Votto dribbler, McLean breaks, Escobar glove, only play at first, throw there in time. McLean scores, steer to scoring position. Reds are on the board, it's three to one. Reds have been tamed to one run on two hits. One on, two out. Chop to short, Velasquez. Backhand running throw, in the dirt, Drury can't dig it out. And McLean sprinting down the line, reaches Maley up to second. Of course, when you're De La Cruz in this spot, the temptation would certainly be to put your team ahead. But when you have McLean running at first base, he has good enough speed. You just make solid contact. Could very well score him, especially with two outs. The pitch. High in the air, deep left center. And that is gone in front of Pride Rock. A big backflip from De La Cruz. Three run bomb, number 11 on his campaign. And the three run shot has the Reds ahead four to three. I would guess that until this young man 
starts to get some experience at the big league level we're going to have to get used to the strikeouts and go along with the bombs because that ball was definitely a bomb. Now we only saw Leon get up a minute maybe 90 seconds before yeah, they made the call. He could have had more than five or six pitches down the bullpen then you get your allotment here on the mound and looks like he's still warming up. And he's got a tough customer to face here with the bases loaded. Rip down the right field line that's heading into the corner. Renfro giving chase De La Cruz on his horse. Heading for three, that's going to clear the bases. It is seven, three reds, six RBIs on the afternoon for Ellie De La Cruz. Wow. About as hard of a ground ball as you will see hit. He scorched it. That ball left his bat at 112.6. He was home to third in 11.16 seconds, top 1% of the game. Sent to left base, hit steer. De La Cruz scores eight unanswered runs for the Reds, a four spot of the seven, and a five run edge. Law on to face the top of the Angel order. Here's Renjifo at the plate. And there's a line drive base hit. Renjifo is on for the fourth time. His third hit today. See if he thinks about three bases. Around second he goes on his way to third. Relays on the way. It is not in time. A triple for Luis Renjifo. He will be looking for another at bat here today. He's got a walk, double, single, triple. A home run away from the cycle as he took off looking for three bases. Here's Brandon Drury. Uh, grounder hit the short. The throw is in time to second. The relay gets away from the first baseman, Encarnacion Strand. So the Reds only get one out. Drury is safe at first as Renjifo scores. Drury gets an RBI to make it 8-4. to four. The Reds still have lead in a close game. Right now it's 8-4, to four, but the Angels can tie it with one swing. Guy with a lot of power at the plate, Hunter Renfro. Struck him out. Breaking ball. Bases loaded, punch out for Ian Jabot. So here we go as we start off the ninth inning. Sierra has a two hit game. He's been on three times. A walk back in the second. A couple of singles as well. Lifted to shallow center. Splashes down the base hit. McLean around third. He scores another hit. Another ribbon for Spencer Steer. The Cali kids connect again as one plates the other. It's nine to four. And now the Angels are down to their final out in this game. The 2 2 pitch. First base, backhand in Cardassian. Strand feeds Cruz and the Reds roll. They route the Angels in game one of the doubleheader. A 9 4 final. The thunderous blows of Ellie De La Cruz and the timely knocks of Spencer Steer carry the day. The Reds have played 10 of their last 13 road series and they'll seek a sweep at the nightcap. 